Alright guys, um, welcome to Europa Universalis again. Uh, you all may remember my last game as Castile, and how horrible that ended up as. So, um, I'm gonna be playing as Muscovy this time. I have the, uh, extended timeline mod on, and, um, I believe the idea of variation. So I'm pretty excited. I also have Mission Expanded, I will be using Mission Expanded uh, missions, which means we are not going to deal with the Paradox's missions. So, I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, uh, Muscovy is just a Russian state, nothing really special about them, in my opinion. Uh, they start with like four puppets, and they're very, very small. Um, they are one of the interesting nations to play as in uh, the 1444 start date. And I think we should uh, get started with handling a horrible economy. So let's look at the economy. Alright, they're losing six uh, ducats a month, pretty much. That's not that good. That's about all we have because we can't have a navy as we are landlocked. everywhere else in general. Now we're going to set up rivals, or of course we're going to go for Denmark. Lithuania might be a bad choice because they can form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth later on. I don't know what will happen. Ah, oh, why not? We're going to go against Lithuania because we don't like them. And of course, let's take on Kazan because they are weak. No sailors. We gain 200 manpower. No stability. And we shockingly have a Sunni Providence. Where's that? Alright, that's kind of interesting. But yeah, with the extended timeline mod on, we will have ideas. Because we're supposed to start in, I think, um, 69 BC. We will also have all the way up to 47. And as we all know, in the EU, it's supposed to be 1 or like 0. I'm gonna run at three speed just because I need to keep an eye on our economics. That increased. Oh yeah. Royal marriage. Oh, you're a puppet state. Definitely. Yep, estates. We completely forgot about our beautiful estates. Alright. Um. The nobles have a lot of influence, so I think I might just give all the territory to the church. So I don't risk a, uh, a, a, no a noble coup. Because you can't really curve their influence, or at least I haven't found a way yet. But, you know, I want to try to figure out what were their influences. And not their loyalty. We need loyalty. Loyalty is very good. Alright, so I'm gonna let the time go. This is just from the um, idea variation mod. Nothing really too concerning with it, in my opinion. Oh boy, five minutes. I mean, not five minutes. Five, duck five ducats? That's not good. I thought we were trading. Our economy is going down. Okay, you know what? Let's speed it up. Maybe it's not calculating the trade. Nope. We are currently losing five ducats. Lovely. Alright, I'm going to, um... Yeah, I think it'd be wise to lower... Since we're not in wartime at all, we're just gonna drop that to the lowest we can. And then in wartime, I'll crank it back up. So... I think I realized what was causing my failure in Castile. I had no idea the developed providence existed, which leads to more money in general, pretty much more manpower. 
and I had no idea about the, not the autonomy system, which lowers um, resistance and pretty much hate for the government. So I think we can attribute that to my downfall. So we're going to raise base tax and everything we can. don't play EU4 often. Yeah, raising the tax and everything will be very useful for us. Hopefully. And I'm going to keep the puppets around for a little while because actually I'll just absorb their army if I annex them. Can I annex them or do I have to wait 10 years? Okay, I have to wait 10 years. Alright, very well. I will wait 10 years. Yep, uh, Poland is Poland now has a puppet on Lithuania, which means they're going down the route of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. So, uh, logically, we're going to rival the only nation in our way of farming Russia, and that's Novograd. So, yeah, 1444 doesn't seem that bad so far. I don't really play this time I always go to the Roman Parthian War which is I think 69 BC or something but um now again we just kind of wait around and make sure my economy is going to die out on me and of course keep an eye on Novograd because they are terrifying I still haven't assigned my diplomats anywhere really so immediately actually Oh, wait, you're allied with Tavir. Where's Tavir? Thank God this exists. I do the state. Oh. Okay. I guess we can deal with that. Oh, yeah, the main reason why I'm not converting is because that monthly cost will pretty much bankrupt me. A royal marriage. Yeah, let's go. I think I might bully some of the smaller nations, though. Meaning, like, Razan. You know, do what every other E4 player does. We're not going to build a spy network in um, Novograd anymore. What we're going to do instead is uh, go to war with Razan. Uh, you know, 50 years time. You now, bully the smaller states, annex or pup with them, do whichever we want. The growth of cities attracts serfs. It seems as if serfs are moving out of the provinces and named are living in the capital. This is creating turmoil in the country, but our capital may benefit from the long run. Ooh. So I lose one tax in, Ka in uh, Kostroma. And gain one in Moscow. Or I can, which, but I'll lose 10 loyalty, and of course, the state that loses the tax gains more autonomy. The serfs belong to the turfs, gives me 10 loyalty to the boyars. I increased serfdom, which will hurt my morale and corruption for about 20 years. But I'll have lower stability costs. Oh boy. And the problem is, is they have a lot of influence, the boyers do. I would rather have loyalty, I'm gonna regret that choice very fast, I have a feeling. Alright. We're gonna obviously boost your stability up. At least you have a ruler, and he seems pretty decent. Still, I am not excited for uh, the next 20 years of this game, even though they will probably go by fast. Moldova is at war with Ulster. Why? Oh, what's this? 
They're Papa under Hungary, they're usually Papa under Poland. Huh. What more you know. Ottomans, of course, they will immediately blob out, but I have lucky nations on random. So, I mean, literally, a tribe in America, which you can't see right now, could become lucky. I don't know the buffs exactly. But I hope not, because that'd be a really poor choice for it to be on random. But if I did it on historic for like 20 years, the Ottomans will actually blob out. So, it was either deal with the Ottomans, or don't deal with them. Oh, they took Constantinople. Byzantium just needs to get together. You know what? I want to Allen. Oh my god, I can. Should I ally them? I mean, they're going to collapse, or at the very least get annexed very soon. I'm sorry, Byzantium. I'm gonna leave you. And then, of course, we have the Holy Roman Empire. Do I not have the Holy Roman Empire in my map, map node? I don't use terrain at all. Like, I honestly see no point in it, so we're gonna have Imperial so we can see it. Okay, we'll deal with this in, like, ten seconds. Again, Holy Roman Empire. Uh, very holy, not so Roman. Anyway, um, ever so often, merchants of different ideas in the regards to trade would clash and small factions supporting that the cause would emerge, causing ruptures. Oh, I can support the merchantless fa faction. This isn't a matter for the crown. Ooh, propose free trade. I'm not that much need for money. I'm going to support merchantless. Next step, next next series will be Brandenburg, I swear. Um, this series will, I don't know how long it'll go, to be honest with you. Ooh, what's this? Lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps would occasionally lead to overlapping claims of authority in border regions. These disputes are usually over very marginal areas, but serve as a point of friction when monarchs decide to press the issue. So this is about Novograd. If I, uh... Press the issue on Vel. Where is Vel? Because it has to be on my border. Yeah, right there. If I push the issue on Vel, Novograd will hate me more. Or I can lose 5 prestige. I mean, it's not decreasing already by um, normal means, so. I'm done pressing the issue. Do I get a. I do get a cost spelling. Hmm. I say let's hold off on war with them for a little bit. How long will this last? How long will the claim last? It will not tell me, it will just tell me it's expiring. I figure out if I go through here. Oh, nope. Alright. Oh, there it is. There it is. And it fell. I know I'm not 100% maintenance. Of course, I probably outnumber them in army. But I also need to think about the financial effect. Because as we all see, going up to here hurts me pretty bad. How is, uh... How are you doing? Alright, I think it's time to go to war with uh, Razan. So, once again, this is why then very horribly, like it always does. Or not so horribly. So we're just going to go down to 3 speed. We're going to jack up army, army maintenance. We're going to get some... Oh, we already have a general. That's actually pretty good. We're just going to shift you into the Vladimir Providence. We're going to hire another general. Now we're going to wait for the morale to go up. All the way. So, I'm going to go back up here. Wait, is your art, you're at war with. Oh. Okay. Alright, as I will say, almost full. 
closer now. We're gonna charge. I can't deal with their army there, but I will definitely move in. We're going to immediately do war taxes to decrease the price of my men for the year. And since we're at 3 speed, I can watch the fight go on, pay attention to where the enemy is. Now, this guy can't do anything. He is pretty much landlocked with people who ate him. Oh wait, if there's two of you there, I'm just going to move down to the next state. Oh, I can't do that. Alright, I guess we're stuck waiting for um, the province to fall. Also allied with another nation. But I have no clue where they are. They're Orthodox. They have to be somewhere in Russia. Or somewhere in this region. Oh, what's down here too? Okay, found them. I had no clue uh it, it was down there. I thought everything south of me was Sunni, but I guess not. Wow. Kind of a shocker actually. Oh, oh, I can march in. I did not notice that. Alright, we're gonna march in. Let's see if we can actually fight their army. Or will their army escape? No, they're gonna get stabbed. We're gonna win just because we're awesome. And my puppets are dogpiling them. Oh, hey, I can engage them further. Run. Oh, you, you're going to Lithuania now. Not if I can say anything about it. Alright, we did it. Now all I gotta do is wait for the siege to be over. All well, the Renaissance is here. We're gonna be one of the last nations to accept it, I believe. So of course we're going to encircle them pretty much. In their capital. The best way to go out is encircle their capital. Wait, do we have access through them? Oh wow, we do. What about you? Do we have that? Oh, wow, we do. So I can't actually do with their puppet and get 100%. Well, not puppet, but their ally. Wait, wait, no. Hold, hold position. I don't know what they're doing, but I need to keep a close eye on them. And they exited my field of view. Uh oh. I'm concerned for my safety. AI have a tendency to just divide their army and then just charge you with everything they have. Oh, they're just going to attack them. I'm fine with that. Go ahead. I'll let you occupy my puppet for a little bit. It'll give me enough time to uh, attempt to take you out. Ah, yes. The siege. Now we're once again at 50 minutes of sitting around doing nothing. We're just going to watch the siege. That's all we're going to do, if I'm honest with you. We, we have nothing else to do. I'm not going to move up uh, any higher, just simply because of the fact that um, the enemy army could still just suddenly appear. I will go to 4 speed. I will definitely... Oh, hey, what do you know? Dang it, someone else is already attacking him. But yeah, when the city walls break, uh, we can pretty much issue a charge, which will cost us a lot of manpower, but we do have a small chance of making the enemy fort break. Alright. That or we're gonna send the 12k back up north. The Siege of Razan is over. And with them being low morale, we're going to try to peace out with them. I have a claim on Tula, so I'm going to take Tula. Pretty sure that's my uh, secret claim. And Can I annex them fully? No, I cannot, so I'd rather leave them in the south. But I'll take everything around them. Suffering from overextension. Yes, I know. We're going to boost that up. We're going to not boost stability. I should have boosted stability, to be honest with you. And once again, we're dropping to no army. 
Ah, uh, maintenance. Who needs to get our army to good maintenance? We'll be fine without any of this so-called equipment. Now we're just waiting for the army to trek across the Great Horn. So, uh, this is looking good so far. I'm honestly quite excited. Who knew being back in my fear of losing a war and I actually won? I'm sure, it's against the small guys, so I really shouldn't be too excited. So the big threat is north into the west. Maybe one day we'll occupy, um, uh, Neva, the capital of Nova Ground. Oh, hey, capital. I should have expected that. But still, occupying Neva would be nice. So let's just, you know, go up to five speed, look around at everyone else, laugh at them for losing wars. Why are you free? I don't want you to be free. Need more money. This is why my economy sucks. Alright, we're going to trade. Do we have? Can, we, can I seriously not trade anywhere? What down here? I cannot trade anywhere because I'm too far away. Oh no! I'm gonna have to keep advancing south if I want more uh, money. Um, the Thirty Years' War looks like. Uh, France is actually losing, so that's a shocker. Usually they win. Let's look at tech. Alright. I should hold off on doing anything that involves stability then, shouldn't I? Simply because of the fact that I'm not, I'm going to fall behind if I do, in administrative. Nobles demand increased pension. All your loyalty flip-flopped, and I have no choice, really. So for 20 years, my tax modifier goes down. Ooh, that's two ducats on the drain. I think a chunk of my soul just died. Oh my god. I know I said I wasn't going to spend it, but I really need better money. Come on. I just gained 13 ducats. Are you serious? Alright, we're going to fall behind in administrative tech, and I accept that. Well, I'm more curious what's going to happen to... F more curious about France, I mean. Man. What will happen to you? Genoa. There's a Genoa over here. They're right here, and they have a claim on the Great Horde. I'm confused. Also, wow, the Great Horde is dying now. Oh yeah, I don't have advisors, I just have just some event changes in the message board and the settings, so that kind of happens. Alright. Yeah, after my economy uh, comes back a little bit, I might try to occupy Novograd. Or they might try to occupy me and I might win. Who knows? We'll figure that out soon enough. And maybe I'll start annexing puppets soon. Oh! Alright, I don't really need to have my... Uh... Okay, my diplomat was called back. Focus on free trade. Our, mer our merchants are concerned that we are not gaining enough support that they would get under. Hmm. Okay, so if I just don't care, I lose trade efficiency and range. It definitely hurt me a lot. So I'm gonna do. Well, maybe there's something we can do, which will decrease my diplomatic power, but increase merchantism by one. I slowly dig a grave. Wait, you just do this. Ingenious. We'll build windmills. Increase our money gain, and now we're poor. 
maybe this would have been better, but eh, whatever, too late now. Alright, now we're just kind of, once again, waiting around. Looks to me, uh, France is going to fall out of a great power and England will... Oh yeah, England might rise. I forgot to go through uh, a massive civil war if they lose, I'm pretty sure. They won, but I'm curious if that will still happen. So I'm going to keep my eye out for the event. And I'm also going to keep my eye on Poland because... Again, they have the puppet Lithuania, I believe. Yeah, as a junior par partner. Now, I could befriend Poland. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna befriend Poland. I'm gonna befriend Poland. Come on, Poland, let's be friends. Let's hang out. We'll talk. And, uh, no, you can't attack me, so I'll be happy. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the, our religion, which is simply... If I get this higher, it's good. I'm gonna get it higher. Yeah, it pretty much uh, decreases local unrest and uh, gives us uh, more manpower. You know, more people to throw into the fire of war. And our missionaries get stronger. Which is very useful. Sure, Poland. We'll be great friends. Alright. Yeah, we can form a uh, Rus and the Russian nation. I'm definitely probably going to go for the Russian nation. Because it's Russia. We all have to do this. What do I need for that? Yeah, a lot of land. So, something about gold. I can either go nobility, cannot be bought, which I want to. The problem is, one of the factions will get 40, 40 loyalty to me. It's gonna have to be the nobles. The boyers are the nobles, I believe. Let's look here. Yep. We're gonna hurt the traders. We're gonna do gold is sign of nobility. Simply because they get hurt down to 40. They'll be fine, but just in case, I will not call a diet. Okay, I was gonna call a diet to raise their loyalty to me. But, oh, it has to be a hundred? I will definitely call the diet then. Which, pretty much more loyalty to you means better buffs. Which is very useful. And once again, we lost the... The trade range. I mean, the development cost. Crap. Again, we, if influence gets too high, we'll get cooed, which means pretty much our government might change. So we need to keep an eye on that. Ah, our king died. Oh, what's this? We got a mission. Invade Novograd. Whoa. I have to occupy everything? I don't think that's too possible, but I'll try. The four-year plan. Ruler diplomatic skill of four. I lost some diplomatic power, but I got some workshops. Okay, I'll accept that deal. Um, what's this? Uh, that is, uh, the... Muscovite Markets. Lost more, but I got Marketplace. Nice. We are doing good. So with that, my money will be up and I'll be happy. It went up all the way up to 80. That's good. Um, you see, I'm going to the steps. Well, at least I'm trying to go, in, go into the steps, but I really should actually try to attack Nova Crown. Hey, buddy. What, you want to hug it out? I'm pretty sure I can annex. Nope, nope, I cannot hug it. 
Never mind. I think I might go to war with them. They're allied to the Tavir, the Teutonic Order, and Pomerania. Oh yeah, I'll ally myself with Brandenburg. Yeah. Oh my god, I'll actually accept. I was joking. Unhappiness among the clergy. So they're upset with should I be Skeller or not. Which is pretty much just, I accept all religions. I'm going to agree to their demands just because of the patriarch authority. I'm fine with losing prestige. I accept that. And in return, I get more bonuses. Yay. See, 18 months. But again, maybe I won't be left in financial ruin. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. My economy is suffering by not that much, to be honest with you. We can get an idea, which I believe should be the military idea. Yes, we will research that. We got land morale increase. Nice. Alright. Now we're just gonna... I think we're gonna complete a mission if I do get this one itty bitty providence up. But yeah, religion is mainly Catholic. See, there's not really any other religion standing around. It's just Catholic, Orthodox, or Sunni. So, it's pretty nice, you know? Both these nations are Catholic, which means Catholicism might actually have a major boost. Let's check out the Holy Roman Empire. They're still gaining um, imperial authority, which is good, which means it's not yet lost. Oh. Yay, we have a kid. He's not a good military guy, though. It's not good. Alright. Ow. Well, that's domestic, though, so any trade note in me will get hurt. Alright, um, I'm gonna try to look for, we're in support trade. These are all down here. Do a couple of them, simply because I do need power. Doing them all would hurt me. So I just did the trade one in stabilization. Which means if I go here, that no, should cost less. But I'm not gonna do that because, again, I need more the more uh, I need to get up to 48. Also, I'll fall behind in tech. Alright. Oh! I guess the War of the Roses isn't happening in England, it's actually happy, happening in France. Either that or Napoleon uh, woke up from the dead or something, came back, and he's like, Stop, you lost the war. So I wonder what's going to happen with that. Honestly, quite curious. I should stay, but, um, you know, time, time's getting pretty lengthy. So, of course, we're going to leave it off here, and let's just hope that my Muscovy playthrough will not end like my Castilian one. Also known as a giant mistake. But yeah, we're just going to leave it off here now. Uh, see you later.